Okay, so now we are going to do um, part two of the video. We're going to answer um, problem B. So again, a runner covers one lap of a circular track 40 meters in diameter in 63.7 seconds. What was her average velocity? Okay, so now we're not looking for average speed. Now we're looking for average velocity. And you're going to see how the formulas change a little bit. In average speed, it was the change in distance, but in average velocity is the change in displacement. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do this. So if this girl is running around this circular track, okay, and we're looking for the uh, displacement, okay, displacement is, oh, these are vector quantities, okay, so the initial uh, displacement. So the initial is where she started. So she started right here. We're going to call that zero. That's her zero starting point. And now we have to look for the final uh, uh, the final point, so where she ended. So if she's going around this circle and she's coming back to the initial position, remember that displacement is the shortest distance between two points. So if this point right here is the starting point, and the ending point, then the shortest distance between those two points is zero. There is no distance. Okay? So in displacement, the initial distance was zero, and the final distance, or the final displacement actually, is zero as well. Because uh, she didn't, if she went around the circle and she uh, finished where she started, then there is no distance, there is no displacement. Okay, and the time is 63.7 seconds. Okay, so this is 0 divided by 63.7 seconds. So the, the average velocity is equal to 0 meters per second. Okay, this is the average velocity. Notice Notice that the average speed is 1.97 meters per second, but the average velocity is 0 uh, meters per second. So notice that that is a little bit different. Okay, let's go and do the next problem. If she covered the first half lap in 28.8 seconds, what was her average speed for that half lap? Okay, so I am going to draw that circle again. So this is the circle, and this is the girl at the top. Okay, and she's going to run around this circle, but let's see what the question asks for. The question says, if she covered the first half lap, so she's covering only half the lap, so she's just covering uh, from this point all the way here, half the half the lap. What was her average speed for that half lap? Okay, so she's only covering from here to here. So she's only covering this portion of the circle. Okay, only this portion. Okay, so we're looking for average speed. Let's write down the formula. So this is the change in distance. over the change in time. Okay, so uh, let's see, what is the distance from here to here? Okay, we know that the entire circle has a distance of uh, 3.14 times 40. 40 is the diameter. So let's do that first. Let's find out the distance of the entire circle. Circumference is equal to pi times diameter. Pi is 3.14. And the diameter is 40. So the circumference of the circle, let's put the calculator and see what it gives us. 3.14 times 40, because 40 is the diameter of the circle. 
that gives us 125.6 meters. Okay, this is the circumference. So this is, we just found the distance of the entire circle. But we don't want the distance of the entire circle. We want the distance of half the circle. Okay, so half the circle would be 125.6 divided by 2. That's half the circle. So half the circle, the circumference for half the circle is 62.8 meters. Okay, so this is the circumference for half the circle, or in other words, the distance. So the change in distance from here, from where she started, to here is x final minus x initial x final is 62.8 minus x initial is 0 because that's where she starts divided by the change in time okay the change in time is 28.8 seconds so she ran 28.8 seconds in that half lap 28.8 seconds, that's what's going to go here. And when you divide 62.8 divided by 28.8, let's see what we... 62.8 divided by 28.8, we get 2.18. Okay, so 2.18 meters per second. This is for part C. This is part C. Okay, so we found the average speed for half the circle. Okay, this is the average speed for half the circle. In the next video, we're going to find part D. Okay, so part D says if she covered the first half the first uh, half lap in 28.8 seconds, what were her average velocity for that half lap? So that's uh, in the next video.